What's up, Creed? JJ here. Coming back at you with another uh, unboxing. Today we have our Cohiba. Everybody knows this brand. Uh, one of the highly most counterfeited cigar in the world. Anyway, <clears throat> this one here is a uh, fully varnished uh, slide lid box, aka SLB. Box of 25, Sigla 1. Okay, uh, they do come in cardboard packages of five as well as packages of three with the aluminum tubes. Anyway, this one has a vendor sticker over top of the barcoded serial number. Uh, everything's good, checks out. Tabac Cube is there, all good. Um, just gonna go around the box. And that's that. The date on this, we have our, well, we have our Habanos SA, Hachu in Cuba, Total Mente Amano, all nicely embossed, really nice printing, not faded or anything like that. Uh, factory code SOM, DIC 16, December 2016. Anyway, not quite a year on them, no big deal. <clears throat> Uh, this is the first of the Siglo lineup. Uh, as of now, it goes through uh, from 1 till uh, Siglo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, there, is the, there is another one that they just come out with too. It's a little petite robusto. The Medea, um, Medea Siglo or something like that. Anyway, uh, I can't think of it offhand. Nonetheless... Let's get to it. So on the inside, we have our Cohiba um, <clears throat> cedar sheet. Now it does darn the don the uh, the Taino native uh, Indian head. This is a different parchment that we have, uh, not specifically from Havana SA itself. This is a Cohiba one basically indicating uh, what the Siglo series is, okay? Cohiba, the elite brand of Habanos, devotes the line, or the linea, of 1492 with its six Vitoldas, Siglo 1, Siglo 2, Siglo 3, Siglo 4, Siglo 5, Siglo 6. To be, and to commemorate the fifth uh, uh, centenary of uh, Cuban tobacco discovered. So basically, this is the Linea uh, 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Uh, basically, this lineup commemorates his discovery of the tobacco uh, from the Taino natives. Um, <clears throat> that's that. It's just in, it's written in four different languages. So uh, I believe it's uh, Spanish, English, German, and French. We have our Cohiba Siglo 1 sticker on our parchment wrap. Now, I am not sure if this is what they do in the, uh, in the factory or, or uh, in the factory or possibly the merchant itself. This box that I did get from was previously inspected because I told them, open the box up. I don't want to have the box come to my door, find out I got a bunch of crap or damaged, uh, damaged sticks. So I did ask them to go ahead and check them. I'm not sure if they went ahead and did this nice favor for me, added this nice little piece in here so they wouldn't move around so much. I am going to remove that. Anyway, there we are. We have our nice bundle of 25, uh, Cohibla Siglo 1s. They have the ribbon around them with the Linea 1492 Cohiba, Taino Indian Head. <clears throat> this, these bands that are on here now are the new current bands. Okay. Uh, the hologram bands and that were introduced in, uh, on the, sorry, on the uh, uh, Pyramides Extra in uh, 2012. And then since then, Sometime around uh, 2014, they started 
adding the new bands to the lineup with the holograms on the bands top and bottom as well as the uh, hologrammed Taino Native Indian with an additional head inside the Native head. So that's them there. Pour them out. They've got a nice, I don't know how well you're picking that up, but they got a nice dark color to them. So they were inspected. I did have them open it up. Now something, you know, just a little thing that they do or should be doing as you move around the bundle, notice that every single band is facing you. They don't just plop them in there. They assemble it and are proud of the presentation that they do. You know what I mean? You know, these are cigars that, these are a product that is natural, made to look beautiful for people to enjoy. And they want to show that the best quality is out there. And, you know, it shows. Look at it, you know. Nice bundle, nice footing. Okay, there's that nice cardboard piece that we've seen previous in other videos. Just to keep that knot from rubbing, scraping on the uh, cigars themselves. You know, looking good. Like, I, I don't see any... Well, there's a little bit of a damaged foot there. That's okay. That's number one. Anyway... Hope you enjoy a little bit of a uh, brief history and uh, information on this cigar. Uh, by the way, it is a Petite Corona. Okay, the Vitola itself is uh, 40 ring gauge by 4 inches or uh, 102 millimeters. Okay. Um, yeah, so these are, uh, these are what's happening. Okay, I hope you get a chance to enjoy one. I'm going to sit on these for a little bit, not quite a year, but, you know, Cohiba has that third barrel fermentation uh, process that they do, and uh, their sticks generally uh, don't uh, seem to be that bad for, because of that. So, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, maybe back at you with a newer episode, and uh, who knows, we might be smoking them. Anyway, till then, JJ here, Cigar Creed. Click like, subscribe, you know, thumbs up, comment, and uh, join the creed. Till then, JJ out.